let's continue so don't try to fit in be yourself god did not call us to fit in god called us to to be set apart from people so i tried to fit in like my younger sister i mean having so many friends like her i was suffocating i mean i could not think properly because all of them had a say on what god was telling me to do it's better to be alone with god than have friends that don't have a personal relationship with god than our friends that don't even think like god you know god will isolate you to get your attention god will remove god will remove your friends to get your attention but remember you are not alone god is with you so god started removing my friends when i was in college i had no friends except jesus something great happened i thought i would not be able to survive without friends but what god showed me i can do without friends like seriously my grades became better much better no friends just me and jesus in college go to class come home study no hangout my grades improved my spiritual life increased i mean i heard from god clearly i am doing what god was telling me no second guessing so when my parents realized that i am doing well in school i'm doing well spiritually the devil wanted to use them to spoil it like when you are doing well the devil will use people to point out what is not going well instead of what is going well my parents sat down one day they started saying you have no friends I did not notice because I was busy hanging out with God in school, hanging out with God, boom, grade eight, at work, hanging out with God, boom, able to handle my crazy managers, you know, driving home, hanging out with God, on how to handle the next day. When I get home, I sleep because I had a stressful day. Then I wake up and I'm spending time with God, gisting with God, listening to motivational sermon watching action movies i mean before i know it is time for bed it's the next day already i mean taking one day at a time see when jesus is your only friend and you are aligned with him you won't think of begging people to be your friend you won't think of changing yourself so you can have friends like you'll be yourself with god you'll be who god created you to be like if the if you don't like me like this, get away. I have a purpose to to fulfill. So keep going. God will bring the right friends. In the meantime, enjoy being alone with God. Don't force yourself to have friends. You feel suffocated. Not everyone can handle you. Not everyone can handle God's anointing over your life. I mean, I was forcing myself to have friends. I was suffocating. It was like i can't even breathe every day let's hang out they call every time like i did not have time to think i didn't have time for god like i stopped that friendship and god allowed me to be alone with him so he can get my attention and tell me the book to write you know i was more creative when i was alone with god like seriously like i think better i act better you know god tells me secrets you know so think about it you go to work monday to friday the little time you have you write god's book you preach the gospel but if you have so many friends hmm, they will take up your time like looking at my dad he has so many friends like so many so many that's why he's not creative he's not thinking about the purpose of god for his life you know it's just like so many friends they shape the way he's thinking no 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 god should shape the way you are thinking so they will take up your time you have to write god's book they will take up your time you know for you to sit down and write what god is telling you to preach you know the devil knows about this that is why he told my parents to make me feel bad that i don't have friends so when i do have friends i won't write god's book i won't preach the gospel i mean my parents saw that i was different so they wanted me to have friends so i think like the world so i don't think like god see your friends matter 
if your friend is Jesus, you will think like Jesus. So be careful of the friends you move with. If you are moving with someone and you are not able to be yourself, leave that friendship. If you are moving with someone and you don't have time for God, leave that friendship. Your time with God is more important than that friendship. See, when you spend more time with God, you will discover who you are. You will discover your purpose. You will discover lots of things about yourself. You even know yourself better. So your time with God will reveal a lot of things. Will reveal who you are, what's your purpose, and will help you pursue your purpose. In my mind, hmm, thank God I have no friends. If not, my grades would have been worse. Plus, I won't be able to listen to God's voice, really. So, if you have so many friends and you have no time for God, I don't mean like going to church. People think going to church means having time for God. No, no, no. I mean spending quality time with God in private. Pursuing your purpose with God. Working one-on-one with God. You know, relationship, conversation with God. Ah, hmm. If you can have that... You you will be saved. You will be fulfilled. You won't you won't feel like fitting in. So, if you are going, so like, if you have so many friends and that demands your attention, that are demanding your attention all the time, you are on a dangerous track. So many friends does not mean you are successful, but spending time with God means you are successful doing god's purpose means you are successful job degree money does not mean you are successful instead of them to say you are doing well in school you are doing well spiritually like right now let me give you an example of my life like i work 10 hours a day when i come home it's like 6 or 7 pm i take a shower i listen to motivational sermon on youtube led by god i write god's book I write what God wants me to preach. I watch a movie. Before I know it, it's 10 p.m. It's time for bed. I'm so focused getting God's purpose done, getting God's book done, preaching the gospel to motivate people to follow Jesus, sharing what God wants me to share so people connected to me and God can be saved. Like, I have a goal with God. This is not the time for friends. Like, seriously, there is time... Like, first of all, this is time to focus. There's time for friends. There's time for no friends. <laughs> you may focus and reach God's goal. Finish that book. Preach what God has laid on my heart and post it. All those things are taking time. Like, seriously. Also, some other God projects I'm working on. Like, we have limited time. So, use it wisely. We are going somewhere, we are getting somewhere with the help of the Holy Spirit. Stay in alignment with God. There's a time to have fun, there's a time not to have fun. There's a time to go to the club, dance and preach the gospel. There's a time to stay away from the club. There's a time for cinema, there's a time for no cinema. Go with God's flow. Ask yourself, what am I doing in my life? Don't just live life as it comes. Like seriously, take hold of it. Take hold of God's future for you. Fulfill God's destiny for your life. Stop living like an ordinary person. Live with purpose. Like when I look at my twin sister, all she does is become a full housewife. That is not God's destiny for us. God has great purpose for our lives. It could have been me. I almost married someone that don't care about God's purpose for my life. The moment I said no with God's help, God pushed me to destiny. It's destiny time. Yes, it is destiny time. It is destiny time. Another one, remember when I told you that I ate Subway and I felt like I could not breathe well? The calories were too much. And the doctor checked me out and said my breathing was okay, but they could not figure out why I was not able to breathe well. We continue the next video.